Hello friends, this video on control and coordination part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Or now let us try to understand first what are glands. So glands are the organs that synthesize and secrete substances either into blood or apical surface. Now what is an apical surface? Okay, so I already told you that what are glands, they will produce some substances. Now how they produce that, we will talk about that. So they will synthesize, they will manufacture some substances and then they will release those substances into the blood. So they can either release them directly into the blood or into the apical surface. What is apical surface? It is the surface of the plasma membrane that faces inwards to the lumen. What is lumen now? So lumen is nothing but the inside space of any cellular component. For example, when we would have spoken about cell, right? So when we were studying cell, we saw that every cell has got a nucleus and the different cell organelles which are present inside this cytoplasm. And outside they have a plasma membrane. So the outer membrane covering the cell is the plasma membrane. So what is apical surface? It is the surface of the plasma membrane. That is the surface which faces inwards towards the cell. Lumen means the inside space of cell. So this inward surface of plasma membrane is the apical surface. So that means there are two types of gland. The two ways glands can secrete the materials. Either they can secrete the materials directly into blood or they can secrete the materials into the apical surface of some cells. That means it is directly secreting it into some cells. Right? Now these glands consist of epithelial cells that specialize in secretion. So we have spoken about the epithelial tissue, right? It is the outermost layering of tissue. Our skin consists of epithelial tissues. Now the epithelial tissues also were of many types, the cuboidal epithelium, the squamous epithelium, right? There were so many, the columnar epithelium. So they all had different specialization, different purpose. Some of them were mostly used for protection. Some of them were used for secretion. Now the epithelial cells which specialize in secretion. So these glands are made up of those kind of epithelial cells. Now let me tell you one thing very clearly. Whenever we are studying biology, you will see that many a times I will talk about things which I have explained in previous lessons. So what I would advise you is Please go through the lessons one after another. Do not have to exactly jump into later lessons, right? Okay, so, so what do these glands actually do? They selectively take up some materials from the blood. So blood is something which is flowing throughout the body and blood contains so many different things. So from the blood, it will selectively choose certain materials and take it up. And then it will process those materials and produce some chemicals. So what are these chemicals? These chemicals, can, they can be anything. So these chemicals are then secreted either into the blood or into the apical surface of cellular components. Right? Okay. Now let us look at some of the examples of glands. Examples are sweat glands, oil glands, mammary glands these are some of the common examples why i have taken these examples is because as soon as i saw pictures of these examples you can very easily relate to them for example sweat glands you would have seen yourself sweating right when you do some vigorous exercise or during a hot sunny day you generally sweat so from where does this sweat comes it is some watery like fluid like substance over your skin but from where does it come it comes from the sweat glands so they, they are a specific type of glands which again produce some substances and secrete them. So what is that substance in case of sweat glands? It is the sweat which we see on our body surface, right? The oil glands, you would have seen many people complain that have got an oily skin. And generally it happens with the ladies. They often say that I got an oily skin. So generally when you look at your faces, some of them will have too much of oils over their faces. So from where does that oil comes? It is because of the oil glands which is present which secretes oil. For example, here I have shown you the structure of the oil glands. They are often known as the sebaceous glands. This is also another name for the oil glands. 
So here if you see here you have those glands and where is the skin surface? This is the skin surface where you actually see oil. So it is also secreted by the oil glands. Similarly, the mammary glands, you would have seen in case of human beings, the small kids fed on their mother's milk. So from where the, does that milk comes into the breast of females? It is again with the help of the mammary glands. So the milk is also a secretion of the mammary glands. So these are some of the examples of glands. So you understood what are glands? What are they? They are organs which synthesize the materials and secrete them. Now they are, there are two ways by which they can secrete those chemicals. One is they can secrete them directly into the blood and the other one is they can secrete them on the apical surface of other cellular components. Right? So I think some idea is clear about glands. So now the question is what do glands secrete? I told just now that they secrete chemicals. Right? So what are these chemicals actually? So what are the things that glands secrete? They secrete hormones. So this is what we are going to talk about in detail in this lesson. So what are hormones? They are chemical messengers which act on specific target organs. That means they are also chemicals but they only act on specific organs. They know where they have to go. They go to that specific organ and then act on them. So we will talk about the function and the usage of hormones later. Enzymes, what are enzymes? They are biomolecules made of proteins. They accelerate the rate of chemical reactions occurring inside the body. Now when we were talking about the different life processes, the digestive process, the respiration process, so during all these processes there are so many chemical reactions which keep happening inside our body. Right? In your chemistry, you would have studied about enzymes. What are enzymes? These are molecules which can increase the rate of chemical reactions. They can make the reaction to happen very fast. So these enzymes actually help to increase the rate of those chemical reactions which are happening inside our body. So these enzymes are also secreted by glands. Other than this, it also secretes metabolites. What are metabolites? As the term says, it is derived from the word metabolism. So what are metabolites? These are small molecules that take part in metabolic processes. So what are the metabolic processes? For example, there are a set of life-sustaining processes which take place inside the cells of every living organism. For example, digestion, excretion, respiration. So these are all metabolic processes. That means life-sustaining processes. If these processes do not take place, the living organism will not survive. So they are extremely necessary for sustaining life. Now, these small molecules actually help or they participate in these metabolic processes. Some of the examples of metabolites would be alcohols, amino acids, organic acids, vitamins. So these are some of the metabolites. So these kind of metabolites are also secreted by glands. So glands secrete a variety of things starting from enzymes, hormones, metabolites and other molecules as well. Okay, so we got an idea about what is a gland and what do they secrete. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.